All right, let's start this battle. Um, today, we have the German army. They have four tigers and four panthers. Now, two of those don't look like panthers, but they really are. Because <laughs> I don't have any more. All right, we're going to take them across the bridges. Watch out, church and possibly this one and we're gonna move them over here and hidden in these trees right here is what you call a KV-5 I don't believe they've ever been in battle but today they will be hidden up on the hilltop is one 57 millimeter anti-tank gun and over there in the woods you got another one now that's only if the Germans try to come up behind or you know he, they get a really good shot otherwise they're hidden they're gonna stay out of out of the way so the battle today is against one tank and all six of those eight of those I'm sorry eight of those definitely outnumbered I would say the Russians will lose but I'm doing this because I just want to show the power in that Russian tank against uh, the Tigers and the Panthers. Um, even though the Panther was a medium tank, it's quite big, as you can see. It's just as large as a Tiger, just not as heavy. This is the first move. They're trying to get across to this tank. This tank can see that tank and he's gonna go ahead and shoot a round off. Actually it's more or less likely he's gonna shoot this one here. Uh, this one has um, some bridge girders in a way. So one round he's got to get at least a five or more. And he didn't. So the Germans will move again. they're advancing now they get to shoot we'll see what happens alright so these two missed those two mostly missed and they got a five and the Russian rolled a one and his frontal armor is fourteen so this makes fifteen which is a ricochet now the Russian wants to retaliate A stupid three. That doesn't do a thing. Not a thing. Alright, we'll move the tanks again. Alright, we've moved, the Germans had moved. Um, this is soggy soil, and that is also. So it's going to be difficult to get around to the other side to kill this big tank. Massive tank. Um, it kind of dwarfs the tiger and I have a comparison that I showed you so we're gonna go ahead and shoot these these uh, panthers first they've all moved so they all get one shot so that's just four dice and then the tigers um, they can shoot also wouldn't do them any good but I'm gonna try to move them up around the back of that big tank and uh, try to take out them. So we'll see what happens after the roll. So these are the Panthers um, shots, the first three, and then this is, doesn't matter what the big tank rolls for a frontal, you'd have to get, uh, you'd have to shoot from the side, you have to. Um, and the two Tigers that could shoot, they obviously couldn't even get it out. So, let's see what happens when the big tank and possibly a gun fires away. Okay, so the gun shot, and <coughs> they, they tried to save, and they bailed out. So, um, this first tank is going to be a bail. They can't handle the rounds coming at them. 
and then this big tank is going to be easy to shoot it's just one dice and it's a three so he doesn't go anywhere so. alright we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and move the Germans closer and then we'll go shooting around so the ten panther uh, tried to bail out or tried to bail back in with morale and he didn't do it and then I had the other tank move into the woods so he can get a side shot while the tigers are trying to scoot around the backside. Um, we'll see how the shooting goes with these, these panthers. Not a great roll. Didn't do a thing and this guy here rolled a six which is great but the three for the armor roll saved the Russians. So I'm going to do a Russian shot since it's Russian's turn. The big guy is just going to shoot out one of those tanks. They're the easiest. It's a four. It's a hit. And we're going to do an armor save. It's a two. Panthers come with a ten on the front. So that's only twelve. Firepower is fourteen. So anything but a, a one uh, is a kill. And that's a four. So we got one destroyed tank on the German side. Kaput. The little, um, I got the little 57 millimeter. He's going to put a couple holes in that the panther and he does not do anything um, we're gonna let the Germans move again and then we'll see what happens Germans moved behind the big behemoth um, those soldiers tried to enter the tank and they're still freaking out so they didn't go back in so we're still down two panthers. We'll see how the shooting goes. This one tank is going to shoot the cannon and the other three will put a hole in the back of that big tank and then these other three, the other two panthers will continue in trying to get the big tank out. Alright so the tan Tiger tried attempted to shoot the the um, the 57 millimeter and it missed with a three. Um, the other two tigers missed and then the one with the six hit the back of the Russian tank, but the Russian tank rolled a four, which puts it way beyond the power of the tiger. Um, this panther here shot a five. Armor save was a six, so it ricocheted. Here the panther shot a six, entered the tank, literally, but, and then because it, because the Russians rolled a one, but then the power was only one. So the power didn't do anything, it basically dented the tank, and the soldiers inside the Russian tank were about to leave, but then they thought, no, no, we can stay a little bit longer. Okay, so um, now it's going to be the Russians' turn, and we'll see what they do. All right, that was a pretty wild round. The anti-tank gun shot three times, or yeah, all three entered the first tank here. Um, the other one was a miss, was a ricochet. And these two ended up re being really bad. Um, because this round entered, this one here, that's uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That would have been a that would have been a, um, a ricochet with this kind of roll. But because this one was so low, it didn't matter what I had here. They are going to bail out. So there's the bell. 
Over here, the gun shot three times, two of them hit. The Panther rolled two sixes, unbelievable. But six and the five is only eleven. So eleven, and then I had the four and a one as a as a firepower, and the tank would bail out again. So when you bail out again, it's another. It's now he's got to have a five to bail back in. And the big behemoth shot a one, didn't do a thing. German's turn. All right, so we uh, we rolled, and it looks confusing. The tan tank shot twice, both were hits, and you're supposed to save with a five or more and the gun saved itself. No firepower test required on that one. These three tanks were only able to hit three times. They need a five or six to get into the difficult terrain of the where the big KV-5 is sitting. And the KV-5 rolled anything but a one. The, uh, pan the Panther here didn't do anything. Couldn't even roll it. Same with this panther and the other tan panther that was bailed out couldn't even bail back in. So we're going to do a Russian scene and see what happens with the Russians. Okay, this big tank really seems to be pretty pathetic these last several rounds. It didn't even fire off anything. A three doesn't do anything to any tank. It's kind of humiliating. I think if you had two of those big suckers, those big tanks, I think these other tanks would be feeling the heat. So the cannon shot three times, one hit, the tiger shot a five, which saved them. This tan panther was hit twice, no, it hit once, I'm sorry, hit once, only a two, so you have a five on the side, plus the two is only seven. So the firepower test is a 4 for the 57 millimeter gun and it rolled a 5. So the the Panther turret comes off. Couldn't handle the little round going into it. Now let's see what the Germans have in store. All right, so the Germans did their shooting phase. The tan tank shot twice at the cannon up there. Um, he only did a snake eyes on the roll, which is pathetic. And then the the uh, the tiger rolled a four and a one, which kills the anti tank gun. So he's out of he's gone. I could actually just remove him. Now, this tiger did shoot also, but it didn't do anything. These two tigers shot and didn't do, didn't even go in. It's difficult terrain. Same with this panther and that panther. None of them were effective. So I'll clean up the mess and we'll do the Russian shooting. I would like to see the big K5. Um, shoot something for once. Alright, so the KV-5 did shoot off around. Finally, it hit. The Panther made a save of two, which is pretty bad. And then the big KV-5 only rolled a one for firepower, which is the worst because anything two or higher is a is a destruction for the other for the uh, person getting the shell. So they bailed out. That uh, Panther bailed. The little 57 millimeter gun shot three times at the Panther. Panther rolled a six. The 57 rolled a three for firepower, which was not enough for it to bail out again. Let's see what the Germans can do. I think they're getting close to for another kill. The Tigers shot. These ones only shot once. He shot once. He shot, but nothing, nothing hit. The 
Panther shot those fours to hit and he tried to bail back in and he could not bail back in. So let's see what the save is for these two hits. I don't see a one so they're both going to be although the two is pretty bad because we have a 12 on a side, 12, 13, 14 so a firepower test will make him bail out if it's a three or more. It's a one so nothing happens. And the two tanks that actually hit the back of the tank it's a one and a four. The one's not good. That uh, He's a 12 on the side that makes 13. We're going to do a five power test and it's a three, three or more so the big tank actually bails. That's shocking. I'm shocked that the Russians are are losing the game. And because they're more than two inches away from the edge of the forest, they the Germans cannot see them and they can't fire at them and the Russians can't fire back until they move. The cannon shot the panther. Three times were hits. The panther rolled a six, five, and four, which is a great roll. And then to get a firepower test, it only the 57 millimeter only shot a two, two, and a one, which is pathetic. It's like opposites, but it was enough to make the big tank bail out. So he's bailed again. The KV-5 shot once after it regained into the tank and it shot a three which is not enough to even shoot the round even close to a tank so let's we'll see what the Germans can do after this alright the Germans didn't do well at all the um, Tigers had a big barrage of shooting going on unfortunately nothing entered um, this Panther's basically useless, and this guy could not bail back in. Now it's the Russians' turn to do. Not very good. Again, the big cannon couldn't put off anything, and the little 57 millimeter was able to bail the German Panther out again. The one tiger, they shot a bunch and these are the only hits that I'm showing. And that one there is a terrible number for that Russian tank. And then the Russian, the German tiger rolled a five for the firepower, which means the big tank, those guys got scared and bailed out. So they're going to bail themselves out. And then this panther did nothing and he couldn't even bail himself back in. They're scared. They they just want to run back to Germany. Pretty effective roll for the big guy. Not effective full roll for the little guy. That didn't do squat and that's an embarrassment for those Russians in that behind that gun. I I'd, I'd make them all be infantry. Put them on the front line somewhere. So the big KV-5 ended up shooting a, a 6. The Panther rolled a 2 and its front armor is 10 so that only gives a 12. And then the big guy rolled a 6 again after he rolled a 4 to bail back in. So another Panther is down. We're going to have to put a little bit of fire on that sucker. Alright, I wish that little tiny gun in the forest would do something. I don't see them doing anything right now. I'm gonna move them a little bit though. As you can see, it didn't do so well for the one tiger. He attempted to shoot the gun because I had moved the gun. Um, only one though. Because the turret is slow, and when you move the turret or move the tank, you lose the dice. 
Actually, I believe the dice you roll twice, but it has to be a five. In this case, I just rolled the one die. The, uh, the other tigers fired. Three of them were hit. And the back of the tank armor was way too thick. The last panther didn't do a thing. All right, Russia. Let's see what you can do, bear. All right, as you can see, the big behemoth was able to move. I rolled a four, and that's good enough for it to move through difficult terrain. I lined up on the side of that panther, shot, but it missed. The little 57 millimeter anti-tank gun fired at that tiger three times, all three of hits. The uh, panther had uh, a one, four, and I think a five, but the one is bad news. And then those two hits, um, I rolled a six and a one, which puts that tiger as deceased. Okay, now the Germans are really pissed off. Let's see what they can do. Okay, so the Germans all shot at the big tank, except this one, and none of their rounds entered the tank at all. They were all bad rolls, and I think this guy had one good roll, but the armor save was too high. Alright, so I'm not going to move the big KV-5. It's too risky. It could get stuck. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to shoot up the Panther first and then the other Tigers. And I might try to move that cannon, the little anti-tank cannon, a little closer. Alright. Well, as you can see, the, uh, the big guy shot once at a six entered the panther because it's they only rolled a two and then for the firepower was another six so luck is going on the Russian side right now the little anti-tank cannon can move four inches so he's just trying to creep up from the side uh, if he shoots right now well he can't because he's got to set up so looks like another panther is down Now we just got to get rid of some tigers. Actually, it's the tiger's turn to shoot. This tiger shot, missed with a three, because he moved, he can only shoot once. And those two tigers shot four times, but only two hit. And then that tank rolled a five and a three, which makes the armor, the armor numbers are way too high for the round to enter. Now, when I moved this little anti-tank gun, I actually could have used one of the trucks here. And uh, you hook it up and then you can move the truck speed, but then you have to unhook it. I believe I could shoot it after I move because it only moves four inches on its own. So um, I'll try to move it again and then shoot the side of this tank. Um, right now though, it's not looking too good for the Germans. But you never know, all it takes is one good round. These two tanks, they, uh, they both shot, but only one round hit. That's the black dice over there. Not enough. And then this particular guy shot twice, both hit. The green dice shows that it wasn't enough. I did move the little gun. The big guy did shoot, but nothing hit anywhere. So now it's the Russian's turn once again. That big tank is horrible shooter. shooter. They, they just can't, they, they couldn't shoot this tiger, which is huge, and they couldn't even shoot a building probably. A one, that's as high as they got. The little gun though, which is hidden right in there, he was able to shoot off three rounds, two of them hit. The tank here had a good round that ricocheted and the other one did not. 
that two is not good. Um, the the next round because uh, because it's got an eight on the side, eight, nine, ten, and the the anti tank is eleven. The round goes in the tank, and then the five is the firepower test, which killed the tank. So his top gets blown off partially. And we have two tigers left. Let's see what they can do. Alright, so the tiger shot didn't do a thing. That tiger over there didn't do a thing. So I shot the Russian behemoth and then I moved the the gun behind. So now next turn he gets to get to get take a shot. So the big tank shot a six. The tiger shot a five for its armor save, which isn't enough because it has a nine. That's only the fourteen. So um, he's going to bail out because I rolled a two for the firepower test, and uh, that's enough for him to to bail out. So he's bailed. That's how powerful the the Russian gun is. It's only a two and up, and it's a it's a kill. So we'll see. If they can go back in and see what that tank wants to do, I attempted to move them to the other side, and that's why that dice is there because he couldn't move. He's now stuck, and I'm going to put a little stuck marker next to him. I wanted to move him over on this side so I can get some behind the shot activity, but that didn't work out. So I'm going to try to bail both these guys back in and see if they can shoot again. Alright, so this tiger did not did not get unstuck. A three doesn't do it. And he did a four. So he's gonna stay stuck. This tank here was able to bail in. So we can get rid of that. And he shot twice. The big tank shot a five and a two. I'm looking for a one because his side armor is 12. That's not enough to even have him bail out. Once he bails out, there's a chance that he could never come back. It's not looking good. Alright, this looks like the end of the game. What we have is we had the little 57 millimeter. He shot the rear of this tank. He had two fives. Get a better view of this which entered the back of the tank. Horribly rolling is the snake eyes from the Germans. They were already bailed out, but regardless, the armor didn't even save it. Here you can see the firepower. The one didn't do anything. And then the five was able to kill that tiger. So he's a goner. This other tiger was uh, was shot with a f number five and then he rolled a three and then the four for the firepower and that's way above what you need for that Russian tank so the tiger would have been demolished probably the whole hull would have been split open so that's pretty much it for this game and this uh, magnificent game table. I've used this game table for several years now and I I have a lot of different scenarios I can use. I can do desert scape, I can do um, city, I can do forest, a lot of different things I use it for. I even put my train set up here. But for today it was used for a cool game to watch the KV-5 
um, prototype tank against eight German magnificent tanks that could actually easily put away most tanks during World War II. There's a few that they could not though. Now if I brought out the elephant tank and the Yag Panther and probably even the, the Yag Tiger, um, it probably would have been able to penetrate the armor of the KV-5 because those guns were a lot, um, had a lot more kick to them. Alright, well, I'm happy to say that this game is over and I have a few more games that I'll be doing. Um, we'll see what happens in the next coming uh, shows. So, for now, so long.